we should improvise because that to and fro was too much. Okay. Uh, if Spock is sitting next to you in the same college premise, I think you can always go to Spock and say, uh, and if he validates it clearly, I think there is no to and fro. It are always once you submit, go to the Spock, sit with him, do clarify. He just have to then validate your details and send it to us so that we'll not find these obvious mistakes. <coughs> what is the evaluation criteria? Of course, your idea solution has to be novel. At least the approach, if the problem is very routine, it might happen that the problem is routine, say build some web page or whatever. Can you take some novel solution, the way you address this idea uh, can be different. So, think about it. What is the complexity? Are you just adding too much of complexity while implementing it? So, design simple is the key. There has to be clarity in what you write in the idea template then all the details that need to be in the prescribed format as they are mentioned. Whether you have done any feasibility study about it, <coughs> what is the scale of impact? Whatever solution you are proposing, is it really going to help the user? All that and is there a scope in this problem in the idea solution uh, for future work as well? All that we will consider uh, before we comment uh, on the evaluation uh, scores for each team. And like I mentioned, if there are multiple ideas uh, with the same score, of course, a team with uh, maximum girl members will give a priority. Of course, that means they all have the same scores in evaluation. So, evaluation will be done in an anonymous way. The evaluators will never know who is submitted, uh, what are the team details, nothing. They will just get the idea template and you need, they will be evaluating you based on the merit and all that criteria which I have mentioned earlier. And if there are multiple ideas against the same problem <coughs> that we receive with the same score and if you have to select one or we will always go with uh, the team which has got maximum girl members. So, that is what uh, the evaluation criteria will be. Now, with that once the idea has been shortlisted, they will be announced on the MyGo site, the same site where you have submitted the ideas. These are the kind of questions we have received earlier uh, in uh, last event as well. What is the IP, uh, who the IP belongs to? It jointly belongs to the college as well as the team who is working on it. And typically this selected ideas will be further developed. Okay. Once we have a grand finale, we have a hackathon. Uh, last year almost 135 teams uh, won the awards, different awards. Uh, the award amount will be the same uh, like last year, it is 1 lakh for the top team, then 75 lakhs for the second and the third will receive 75,000 sorry, uh, it is a misnomer of course. <coughs> Everybody will love to get 75 lakhs, but yeah, it is not right. 1 lakh for uh, the first team, which is the winning team in every category, 75,000 for the second team and 50,000 for the third team. Uh, there will be more prizes as well, uh, which will be given by uh, different partners and sponsors that we will announce later. Last year almost 135 teams won the awards, out of which 55 teams, they have closely uh, been selected by almost 16 ministries and they are taking their projects forward and they are building from prototype to product, they are actually building and making that as a finished product which will be used by these ministries soon. So, that work is already been going on. Similarly, in this case as well, any of the ideas of the ministry think that they need to take it further to productization um, uh, zone, then they will definitely approach you through us again and will proceed with a different um, uh, workflow for taking those ideas uh, which are developed as prototyped uh, during the hackathon to the final product uh, over the period of 6 months. So, that will happen like last year as well. <coughs> and the last slide which typically I want to talk about, uh, there is a Smart India Hackathon app which is the Android app. So, you have to search on the Google Play Store, there is no iOS app. So, if you are using a iOS based phone, uh, Apple phone, you will not be able to find this. If you have an Android phone, then only it will work, uh, you have to go and search on Google Play Store, 
with the name Smart India Hackathon. Uh, this app will be using only for communication. There is nothing else uh, that uh, we are intending to use this for. This app is in the development. Uh, currently, almost uh, 5,000 plus downloads that are done, uh, out of which 3,200 uh, registration that I see, um, which have been made as well. And who have registered? I think there are different roles. And there are few questions we received on the roles as well. There is a category student 17. I think that is a category been created for the people of last year, those 55 teams for whom we are taking their projects ahead. I think uh, that actually clarifies who, what is that category is all about. But otherwise, student is the category uh, who is going to be participating this year. So, if you have a confusion about who they should be registering as, they should be registering as student. Spock definitely have to have their own um, role. Will be because we'll be sending different notifications soon, and you already have started receiving the notifications. But sooner these notifications will actually be split as per the role. So we'll be sending different notifications to different roles. Uh, so please be true to your role when you register uh, for this app. If you have not done that, if you have registered as guest, probably you can uninstall uh, and re-register as a proper role, so that you will get a proper notifications henceforth. So far, we were sending all notifications to all the roles, henceforth we will not do that. So keep in mind that when you are registering for this, of course this app is under development, so there will be multiple upgrades that will happen soon. <coughs> People are facing some issues about registration, whatever. Uh, we are fixing all these defects um, and every week uh, we are going to launch a new upgrade version uh, of this app. Okay. Um, notifications is one, uh, notifications also are of different types. You might have already noticed training notification, then you have event notification and so on. Sooner there will be a question answer forum that will be open on this, there will be photo upload and there will be quick links and all that will be provided uh, is being under development. So, sooner or later the upgraded version will be available on play store. We also will send you the notification once the upgraded version is available. Now, I think with that, uh, thanks for listening to all that, hope the whole process is now a little bit clear. If you still have questions, now is the time, uh, we will take a pause and we will accept uh, and see what questions that you are presenting to us, so that we can answer immediately. Thanks a lot.